Today we're going to demonstrate how to apply a fluoride tray application here at UCDH. So first I'm going to make sure that my patient is seated upright um, and explain the application procedure to the patient. So Ms. Reef, we are going to apply a neutral sodium fluoride for you today because you do have some composite restorations. So this will help to decrease the white spots on your teeth. Um, you do have a little higher risk of decay, so this will help to prevent decay for you. Um, also will help to decrease your cold sensitivity. And um, it does help to remineralize your enamel. So it's going to sit in there for four minutes. So I'm just going to dry off your teeth, let it sit in there, and then we'll go ahead and remove it, okay? Here we have three different sizes of our fluoride trays. You'll want to select the appropriate tray depending on your patient. So here we have um, for full dentition, mixed, and early dentition. Next you'll want to shake the fluoride gel um, in the bottle and then make sure to fill it up about a fourth to a third full of the fluoride gel. So I'm going to show you how much that is already shaken it. Okay. You just don't want to overfill these. So just want to fill them only a fourth to a third full. So here we have the two different types of gel. You'll want to select the correct one depending on what the patient needs are. So on the left we have the APF. You do not uh, want to use that on sealants or if the patient has composite porcelain restorations. Um, it's a little more acidic and so it can etch the porcelain. On the right we have our neutral sodium fluoride and that is okay to use if a patient does have sealants or composite porcelain restorations. So depending on what the patient needs are, you'll want to select the appropriate fluoride gel. All right, so now, as you can see, I have put on my PPE, and now we're going to apply the fluoride tray here. So, Ms. Reeve, I'm just going to have you swallow to remove any excess saliva from your mouth. And I'm going to just dry off the teeth here. Are you okay with that error? Mm -hmm. If the patient's too sensitive with the air here, you can wipe off the teeth with gauze. So that is an option. All right, so I'm just gonna have you stay open for me. I'm going to just apply the tray. Positioning it all the way in the posterior. Kind of pull out the lips all the way around. I'm just gonna reach over to here and we'll place the suction in here and just gently bite your teeth together. And I kind of pull the lips out to make sure that it's all the way out and over the tray. This is going to sit in there for four minutes. You can go ahead and hang on to that. Just gently keep your teeth uh, together. Perfect. <laughs> At the end of the four minutes, you're just going to go ahead and remove the tray and have the patient close around the section and just give them a, a couple minutes to continue to close around that section to clear out that fluoride. And then three, you'll just want to wait half an hour before you eat or drink anything following the tray application. Okay, awesome. How does everything feel? So clean. Yay! <laughs>